Hello and welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and today I am going to be putting together a card. It's a happy birthday card. Um, I have a good friend whose birthday is at the end of the month so I wanted to put something together for her. But there are a few challenges of course that I'm going to be entering in. Um, there is a birthday challenge going on at my creative time that I'm going to be um, linking up to. And I am excited to be able to use a stamp set that I um, got from my creative time. It's the Life is Good stamp set and I was lucky enough to win this on one of their challenges a few weeks ago so I'll be using a few stamps from here and I, I really like the fonts and the sayings on this stamp set so um, that's a good one and I'm going to be entering this into my craft spot. The challenge over there is to showcase your favorite technique in card making and one of my favorite techniques is embossing using embossing folders I do have a cuddle bag that was um, kind of a must two months after I got my very first Cricut I decided I needed a cuddle bug too so um, I do love to emboss on my cards and I'm gonna be using um, three different embossing folders for my for my card and then the last challenge I'm gonna be entering this into is a color challenge from the scrapbooking queen Teresa has issued a challenge to use a light brown, a light green, and a light yellow. So that's the main color scheme of my card. The cartridges that I'm going to be pulling from Elegant Edges, and this is a really fun cart cartridge um, if you don't have this one. It's got lots of creative features. You can make mini books with fun edges on there. There's borders, um, just big layout, you know, scrapbooking page layouts. I don't scrapbook. I've never... I shouldn't say never, but I haven't scrapbooked in years, and so, but this has a lot of fun scrapbooking page um, options on this. So there's frames and shadows, and yeah, it's just a really good cartridge, so I would recommend having this in your library. And then the other cartridge I'm going to be using is from Celebrations, and this was, I think, one of my first, one of the first five cartridges that I had when I got my Cricut. Um, it was kind of a bundle package. You buy the baby bug and you get five cartridges. It was for $100 or something like that. So um, that's, I got this in that bundle. And this is a fun cartridge for birthdays. It's got a lot of creative features on it. Let's see. This is the cut I'm going to be using is this present. It's on page 116. Um, but it's a really easy cartridge. You just basically have your cut and a shift for the layer. Um, that's, you know, as far as layering your cuts, it's really, really simple. But then they have a lot of creative features. They've got tags and banners and cards, borders. They do have the shadow and the blackout, but they've got some fun, cute images. Um, they've got tags. They have lots of phrases and sayings in different fonts. Um, banners. Let's see. And they've got all your numbers. For the eight, you know, your age, and then balloons and party hats and cupcakes. The cupcakes are a little tricky to work with. They're not my favorite cupcakes to use on out of all the different carts, but fun party hats and just fun party things. So this one's a good one to have. I am I'm glad that I have it. Now I lost my page. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna be pulling this present and I think this is actually one of my favorite present cuts out of all my cartridges so anyway just kind of a shout out for that cartridge um and so I'll go ahead and just show you the layout of my card I am drawing inspiration from the Mojo Monday challenge the sketch that they've put out but I I think it's so far off the mark that I'm not even going to enter it in over there and that's okay um but I'm starting with just an A2 size card and I did use a, a chocolate brown for my base card and then here's the for the color challenge the taupe the lighter brown um, color this is my mat and it's just four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I did emboss this this mat is embossed with from Pro Provo Craft the cuddle bug happy birthday embossing folder and I love it. I've had it for a few months, and I've this is the first time I've used it. So I'm kind of a hoarder, I guess. But this is how it turned out. 
and I really like it. I like all the different um, fonts and the fun little sunbursts and presents that they've got on here. So I do like that folder. And then I've got another small mat, and this one is one and three quarters by four and an eighth. And I'll just be putting that down on the front of my card. Not quite halfway, but anyway, somewhere like that. And then I did from Elegant Edges on page 26, the cut I'm using is the border. Um, it's the shift border, otherwise you're going to get all these hearts in there, which are cute, but it's not what I wanted to do for my card. So I just did the shift border and cut it at three quarters of an inch, and it gives a really nice scallop, and it's just about perfect. I did have to trim off a little bit on the edges to match up, so it does cut it just a little bit longer than your A2 card, but you just, you know, trim it up and make it even. So that'll go under there and from George I cut a two inch circle and that will go up top and both of those pieces I've embossed with Swiss dots the Cuddlebug Swiss dots um, folder embossing folder and then my green mat if you can see the embossing on this it's a Sizzix embossing folder which I'm able to use in my cuddle bag, no problem. But I'm not sure the name of this, so I will look it up and I'll um, make sure I have it on the screen so that you know the name of this folder. But it's, they're flowers, but they kind of look like those sunbursts um, on the happy birthday embossing folder. So I think kind of everything match and coordinates. So that's kind of the base, my layout. And then I do have some ribbon. It's, it's kind of a perfect match of the green and the taupe that I'm going to be putting up here. And I did get, it was a double pack from Joann's. It comes with a solid cream and then the polka dot um, green and, and taupe. So this is the ribbon I'm going to be using. And it was a dollar at Joann's. So that's going to go there. And then the little sentiment that I'm going to put on the front is just says enjoy. And that comes from this Life is Good stamp set, and the stamp itself says enjoy the, so that you can kind of mix and match, but I just, I didn't ink up the the, I just inked up enjoy and stamped it on some of that taupe cardstock, and just cut a, just a teeny tag right there. So I'll go ahead and get this put together, and then I'll come back and show you what the inside's going to look like. I'm doing more embossing, and um, that's where my my present cut is going to be. Okay, so here is my card I'll put together. I really like how the embossing turned out. Um, I did pop up my little sentiment enjoy on one thickness of foam tape and then the inside of my card I cut another taupe mat and I embossed half the bottom half with the Swiss Dots embossing folder so that the top half would be smooth so you could handwrite the message and then I just cut another little green border and embossed that with the Sizzix folder. And my two images down here popped up on some foam tape. I cut another circle from George at two inches and stamped that with the Perfect Day sentiment from the Life is Good stamp set from my Creative Time. I just really like how that turned out. I really like that font. And then here's the little gift, the present that I cut out from Celebrations. I did cut the shadow and um, just the cut and the layer um, at two inches. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. And both of those are on one thickness of foam tape. I can't remember if I said that or not. But I just really like how this turned out. I like the color scheme. It's a little bit more muted than what I usually do. And I really like the embossing. So... I will get those this entered into the challenges that I had mentioned before. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I would appreciate any comments or feedback. And you can check out my blog, mollymugsblog.blogspot.com at any time. And we will catch you next time.